What's up YouTube, Jetforth here, and today was the state of the game, and there was a lot of information given out, so let's just dive straight into it, shall we? There will be an apparel event that starts on April 5th and goes through May 2nd. You can earn outfits, emotes, and masks. Everybody will get one cash on Friday, season pass owners get three caches, and there will be specific projects to get extra caches throughout the weeks. Sounds interesting, I suppose. What everybody wants to know are the nerfs and buffs. The m 700 sniper rifle will be getting nerfed. They will bring the overall damage values of it down. The MK-17, which kind of sucks, which is my favorite, also is getting nerfed. And for the buffs, the LVOAC will get buffed, the lightweight M4, the shotgun AA-12, and the LMG MG-5. These are all getting buffed. There was no damage buff values or nerf values given. And for some more nerfs, crit damage and headshot damage will be being lowered across all existing gear because some of the builds can get quite quite rather obnoxious, which is a bummer as well but hey, is what it is. The safeguard talent will get an internal cooldown. This talent, I believe, is the one where you're hiding behind cover and it will continually regenerate your armor. The demolitionist talent, a crisis response, which is what replenishes your ammo after you break your armor or your armor is broken, is also going to have an internal cooldown, which from what I understand, people were abusing in PvP. Not surprised there. And for skills, the sniper turret will be being reworked, so it is more usable and less awkward. I tried it once or twice and it was really dumb. Now apparently it will lock onto a target. You will press one of the buttons. I would imagine it will still be tied to R1 and L1 or whatever it is on PC. But now also while you're aiming at that specific target that is locked onto, when you press the button, you can get a headshot or a body shot depending on where you were aiming at that enemy. The chem launcher is also getting a bit of a rework. It will now act like a weapon as opposed to taking forever to pull it out. Sometimes it shoots wherever, you throw it on the ground, all the weirdness that it was doing. It will now act like a weapon, which is really cool. And with the launcher, they also put the kibosh on being able to have infinite heals over and over again. It was not intended to be used that way. The Firefly skill is also being reworked, so it is easier to track enemies with it. And the two biggest things of all are all the skill mods are going to be reworked, so they are actually accessible and you can use them, because right now the skill power requirements for them are ridiculous, and apparently it wasn't supposed to be like that in the first place. So what they said is, if your skill power is a lot lower, don't worry about it, make sure you go through your mods and all this and that and you should be able to equip them and make new skill builds and it should be a lot of fun. And my personal favorite thing that is being fixed are the weapon mods are being reworked. My lord, there should not be negatives to this and that. And I even said previously that this is not how they work in the real world. If you put a handle on, you shouldn't get negative accuracy and negative stability, but they're fixing all of this. Now, certain pieces and certain stuff will have negatives on them, but the way they explained it is that if you get, say, an extended mag that adds a certain amount of ammunition, that there will be no negatives. But then there will be another extended mag mod that will hold more bullets, but that may come with a negative on it, which I understand that. That's fine. But how they said it is that these are rewards. It should be rewarding, and they shouldn't have to play the weird balancing act that we have to right now to be able to use them. So that is a big a thumbs up for me. That is the best sum up that I can come up with for the state of the game that was released today. I'm pretty sure most of all of this is going to be put into effect on April 5th. They also said that there will be a very, very large book of patch notes coming along with it that you can read overnight. So... I don't know. Maybe we'll go through those when the time comes, or maybe not. But anyways, guys, that's it for me. Let me know what your thoughts and concerns are about any of this down in the comment section below. Hit the old like button for me if you could. That would be a super awesome. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and all that other junk, and I will catch you all on the flip side. Peace!